Well, you guys wanted this, so I'm going to be reading from my second, um, not second, this is like my third journal. I read from the first two when I was younger last time, and I'm going to be reading from this one now. This journal, the very first entry in here is dated June 9th, 2008. And the last one is dated uh, da, 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 February 4th, 2012. So I used this journal for about four years. Um, after, if you're wondering about after this one, I just didn't really journal anymore. I think the only reason I journaled on the first place was because I thought it was cool. The cool girls journaled, so I had to have a journal because I wanted to be cool, and obviously it didn't work because I'm still not cool. But, um, yeah, so I just, I don't really journal anymore, but anyways, I went through and marked the pages that I wanted to read a while ago, but um, like I said, that was a while ago, so I don't really remember which ones I marked, so we'll see. Um, December 10th, 2008, this was a Wednesday, um, 15 days until Christmas, I have a little Christmas countdown in here. Okay, um, I want to tell you, apparently my journal is a person, um, I want to tell you about a new movie coming out. It comes out sometime in 2009, I'm not sure when. It's about this guy with an amazing voice, but he has to start at the bottom to get to the top. As you can tell, I was into movies like High School Musical. And he joins this group called Spectacular, and that's also the name of the movie. Oh my gosh, I barely remember that movie, but it was a Nickelodeon movie, and it, it I barely remember it, but it was, it was very High School Musical-esque, so that explains why I liked it, because I loved the High School Musical movies. Um, now I don't really know what to talk about, um... I have a huge list of things that I want for Christmas, which is kind of weird because just a few days ago I had no idea what I wanted for Christmas. As of tomorrow, it'll be two weeks till Christmas. It seems like it's farther away. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to wait. That's how I am now. I make snap decisions, so if I need to, um, like, decide about something, quickly and then I'll just make snap decisions and that's probably how I came up with a huge Christmas list in just a couple days because I was like okay yeah I want that added to the Christmas list so which I probably didn't get everything on my Christmas list I know me and my sister we would compile these huge lists for Christmas what we wanted like 20 items on a single list and my mom would be like you know you're only getting like half of these right so we're we're not rich at all um, December 20th, 2008, Saturday, five days till Christmas. I'm thinking about making a bracelet for Christmas. I have a bracelet making set. I still have this bracelet making set that I'm talking about. I remember which one I was talking about and I still have it. Um, speaking of jewelry, I'm getting this really cute necklace for Christmas with a pair of headphones on it. I still have that necklace. I actually wore that headphone necklace like last week. Um, I'm also getting a heart choker. Still have the heart choker. Never really wore it though. And I'm also getting a mood ring. Still have the mood ring. Wore it a few months ago. As you can tell, I really get my money's worth out of my stuff here. I'm so excited. Well, I don't have anything else to report on, it was apparently a news reporter, except that my dad made Chex Mix. Um, Brianna's present is, Brianna is my younger sister. Um, her present is supposed to get here in two days. It seems like I got her the soundtrack to a Barbie movie that year, so that's probably what that was. I really want the Click Girls CD, but I found, oh my gosh, the Click Girls. They were never really, really popular, but they used to play some of their songs on Radio Disney, and I think that's how I found out about them, and I was obsessed with them for a while. I think I still have a few of their songs on my iPod, because I, like, never delete stuff off of my iPod. But, yeah. Well, I want some more Chex Mix, so bye. Um, let's see, here's the next one. 
August 29th, 2009, this is like an entire year later, um, we're finally at our hotel in Florida after the ridiculously long drive. This was the year that we took a vacation to Florida, and I was like really homesick the first night. It was an okay trip, but I really didn't care for it that much because I'm like a homebody, but I did enjoy the ocean though. The ocean is a lot of fun and it's very salty. The waves knock you down and come up over your head. They also have a hot tub here, a very hot tub. That hot tub was like 6 million degrees, like for real, it was really hot. Our room is really nice, nicely furnished, refrigerator, oven, two TVs, balcony over the ocean, which was so nice to just like sit out on the balcony and watch and listen to the ocean, it was like really nice. Two beds, a hideaway bed, several chairs, a couch, one big comfy chair, which is what I'm writing in, a desk. I like it. I probably won't be able to sleep, though. I seriously think I'm insomniatic. This was when I was just figuring out that I was an, an insomniac, and I was right about that. I think the first night we were there, I was up until like 5 in the morning. I could not sleep for the life of me. Because I was away from home and I wasn't that comfortable. And also that very first night I was laying in bed trying to go to sleep. And I happened to look over and see this huge like I thought it was a cockroach. Apparently it's a water bug and they live in like the palm trees and come down from the palm trees. But anyway I saw this huge one crawl out from behind the air conditioning unit and crawl under the bed. And that also kept me from sleeping because I was afraid it was going to like try to eat me in the middle of the night so yeah and we I, I never we never were able to kill it we saw it again like two days later and we still weren't able to kill it but anyways December 10th 2010 like an entire year again December 10th 2010 Friday Wow, it's been almost an entire year since I wrote in this journal I don't know why I haven't been writing um, let's see. I'm cutting out, like, certain parts that are, like, really personal that I don't want to share because I'm not one of those people that thinks that you should share your entire life with the internet. So let me see. Um, one of my absolute favorite singers now is Kesha. Yeah, I, I still love Kesha. So I, I listen to everything. Pop, country, anything. But... Her songs are all about just being a teenager and having fun and partying and living your own life. Speaking of parties, I went to, insert name here, my cousin's Sweet Sixteen party on December 4th. It was really fun even though I felt like I couldn't dance. If I hadn't went, I would have regretted it. Something else that's changed since last year is that we're poorer than dirt. We were not poorer than dirt. Well, Kind of, but we, we went through a rough period, but yeah, we're, we're fine now. Um, I mean, we're not as poor as some people, but sometimes it feels that way. We're doing okay, though. Something else that's changed is that I wear my hair down almost every day. I used to wear it in a ponytail every single day since I was about nine. I just didn't want my hair in my face, but I got a haircut and it was too short to put in a ponytail, so as it grew out longer, I just got used to it. Um, true story. I still have to put my hair in a ponytail when I go to bed, though. I can't sleep if my hair is in my face. That is also still true. I put my hair in a ponytail every single night when I go to sleep. So, yeah. And I can sleep with it not in a ponytail, but I wake up during the night, like, like trying to get my hair out of my face. Um, anyways, we'll probably get our tree soon for Christmas and make Chex Mix. Making Chex Mix isn't really anything unordinary. For some reason, I write about it in this journal every year. Um, anyway, this has been my longest journal entry ever, I think, so who knows? I might write tomorrow. It might be another year before I write, and, and it... What does that say? I might never write in this journal again, you never know. Anyway, my hand hurts from writing so much, so bye. And I also have a quote in here from the Taylor Swift song, Sparks Fly, because it's good to know that I have loved Taylor Swift for all these years. 
Okay, now this is like my favorite entry out of this whole journal because this is the entry where I talked about meeting Elle and Blair Fowler. This was back when they were like my idols. Um, I still really like Elle a lot. Blair, not so much. Like the only stuff that she seems to recommend these days is stuff that's like upwards of two or three hundred dollars, stuff that I certainly can't afford. But anyway, this is November 7th, 2011, Monday. Let's see, let me skip through part of this. Okay, I got a, a modeling contract back in June. I had a modeling contract from when I was 15 through 16. I've only been on two acting auditions. The first audition kind of sucked, but I did much better on my second one. I didn't get the job though, which doesn't mean they didn't like me, they just liked someone else better. And let me skip through this part. And um, it's true, I only went on like two acting auditions. I didn't like acting that much, but um, for there weren't many jobs available for photo shoots that were where I live. So, because um, I live in kind of a small town, not much exciting ever happens here, and so it was hard to find auditions for photo shoots that were close by. But anyways, um, here's the part about meeting Ellen Blair. I met Elle and Blair Fowler in September. It was so much fun. I still can't believe I met them in person. I met them at their Atlanta, Georgia meetup that they had at the Mall of Georgia, I think, and it was on August something 2011, and it was when they were promoting their Solaris line of cases. Um, they're unbelievably gorgeous in person. They're like five times more gorgeous in person, if not more, than they are in their videos. Like, I watch their videos and I still can't believe, like, this girl that I'm watching right now I met in person. So, yeah. And I won an autographed iPod touch case. I still have that iPod touch case. Unfortunately, the autograph wore off of it, though, and I was, like, so sad about that. I still am. Anyways, I'm getting an iPod Touch for Christmas. Thank you, Walmart, for bringing back Layaway for Christmas. Um, I think Ellen Blair are really the ones who got me interested in hair and makeup and fashion. They were. I've been really into it lately. Mom thinks I have too many clothes. I don't. I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. I do. I've dramatically downsized my wardrobe lately, but I still, like, have too many clothes. Still need to work on it. If only mom could see Blair's closet. Blair has two walk-in closets and a dresser all full of clothes. This was back when she was doing videos when she still lived in Tennessee and she had the hot pink room with the two walk-in closets and the dresser and all that. I dream of being as rich as her. Wow, that sounds like really vain, but let's admit it, life would be a lot easier if we had enough money to do whatever we wanted, I'm just being honest. I really like makeup too. After Christmas, I want to go shopping at Sephora and Forever 21 and possibly Victoria's Secret. I'm addicted to retail therapy. Um, yeah, I, I kind of was. I still, I, I kind of over-dramatized. I really like shopping. I still do, but I'm definitely not, like, legit addicted to it. Um, okay, and I think that's it for that intro that entry and that's like the last one that I have marked so yeah um and that was a really long entry too that was like a two page one so um I don't want to read that page and I don't want to read that page. So, and I also considered reading to you guys the page about where I met my boyfriend and stuff like that. But I felt like that was kind of personal in between us. So, I didn't read that part. But, yeah. So, this is the last journal that I have. There are no more to read to you guys. But I hope you liked this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.